we've been in business for 17 years and it used to be that uh, referral, if you found somebody that was in a position was willing to move up and, and we can meet with them and find out that they were a good communicator, they were willing to work. We wanted them at an early age so that we could kind of teach them our ways. Um, that's kind of changed a little bit because I'm actually having a hard time finding people willing to work. Or they're so far advanced in their job, they're so set on how they do it and it doesn't fit our culture and how we service our customers. Um, I was telling them earlier, this is the first time in 17 years we've actually turned a staffing company. So because we're a smaller company, we don't have the resources to pull at recruiting like some of these companies do. So that's we're actually turning to staffing companies. I think our region is key on networking. You know, a lot of a lot of the ways to find great candidates is you know through things such as LinkedIn, sometimes Facebook. Um, social media is becoming big, but I know we as business people talk every day to other you know other like individuals, and that I think is one of the key ways to find people is you know through those colleagues that that we do have. I think another resource that's often untapped are the colleges and universities in our region. There are more than 30 colleges and universities in the 26 county region uh, here in the greater Louisville area. And all of those colleges and universities have some kind of career services facet where you know you can work with that career services office and find individuals. You know, these offices also have internship, externship, co-op opportunities. You know, which is a, which is a great way to you know get somebody in your door. You know, it's kind of almost like a temp to hire position where you know you'll have somebody for three months, six months on a part-time or full-time basis, and it's kind of a try you try it before you buy it um, opportunity. We don't really have a problem getting candidates for jobs. We have a problem getting qualified candidates for jobs. So um, one way for us to really kind of get uh, those qualified candidates is exactly what Sam said, and that would be through social networking. Um, I was talking to Jeff earlier, and um, we actually have international positions uh, within Papa John's. We're an international company. And um, I'm using LinkedIn and connecting and networking with people that live in Greece and the Netherlands, and I would not have been able to do that without social networking. So that is an amazing tool, I think, that's out there, um, and you're able to really kind of get those candidates that may not have been aggressively looking for positions, but are open to the possibility of seeing what else is out there. Um, another thing uh, that, that Sam mentioned is referrals. Uh, a lot of positions that we fill um, at the Papa John stores come from referrals. We have those really top-notch, high-caliber employees at those stores, and we look to them to refer us because you know, their name is on the line, um, so they would make sure that they would refer as people that do as good of a job as they do. So that's a, a lot of the way that we fill those store level jobs. I tell you, we have the luxury at Walmart of getting lots of people on our stores day in and day out. So uh, one of the luxuries of that is a lot of people that are looking for a job are in our store shopping. So we get an opportunity to actually get to know the customers really, really well, and then they feel very comfortable with approaching us about either a part-time job for themselves, or hey, I've got a son or a daughter, and they're going to be 16, and they need a job. Um, can they come and talk to you? And um, we just have to be open to that. And uh, uh, as somebody else said, it's it's we get a lot of candidates, but not necessarily a lot of qualified candidates. And uh, that's the tough part, uh, being a, a retailer where we have a lot of entry-level type positions. Um, like I said before, you don't necessarily have to have uh, an education you know, or a qualified education to work at Walmart, but it does help. And um, that's the toughest part is actually, um, but some of the best, we steal shamelessly, I'll be honest with you, when I'm out eating lunch somewhere or eating <laughs> dinner somewhere, you know, if I'm a... Uh, that happen to talk to somebody and I think they're doing a great job, I will leave my card and say, hey, if you have an opportunity, if you're looking for something more, um, you know, I'll talk to them a little bit about what the benefits are of Walmart and what we can do and the career opportunities and um, some of the best people that we've ever hired have come from stealing shamelessly. So um, sometimes we just have to do that and uh, that's what it takes in the uh, environment that we're in right now. So.